What is up, everybody? All my kaiju friends and fans. And we are here today to say happy birthday to Godzilla. November 3rd, 1954 was his birthday when the first movie, the original movie Gojira, came out in Japan. Great, great, great film. Classic movie. We don't have none of it without the original. That's why I've got my main cast of uh, 1954. Godzilla's here in front of me. Uh, all except for my Deforeal brethren, the two train biters. I have those, but they're upstairs in my other room. So I just went with my 330 centimeters and the gigantic. And I feel it's apropos to have them here for this conversation because this is basically my uh, little bit about my life with Godzilla and about Godzilla because it is his birthday and happy birthday to the king long live the king as far as his influence on my life he is very prevalent in my life especially starting of course in my childhood um, uh, my fond memories of the movies are most of the 70s films um, even Godzilla's Revenge and Son of Godzilla Hedorah Gigan, Megalon, Mechagodzilla, those, all those films are the ones that I remember the most watching and just being in awe of what Godzilla was and what Godzilla is. It's a great, great design and character uh, invented by Toho in Japan, um, influenced heavily by King Kong 1933. They fed off of Kong and what they did with Kong to uh, create Godzilla, which is really cool, in my opinion. And Godzilla started off in 1954 with this classic film, Gojira. And, of course, he died, but uh, it was so popular that they uh, decided to bring him back. And actually, in the next movie, he it was supposed to be another monster like in the same family as Godzilla so but the whole thing is just amazing it's influenced me since I was a little kid I remember staying up late at night and watching these films uh, all by myself setting up all by myself and um I would watch them religiously when they were on TV because back then all you had was a TV and an antenna so you watch what was on so anytime I would looked in the TV guide and seen when they were coming on, I was trying to make sure, always try to make sure I could stay up and afford myself the chance to watch them. It just influenced my life that much, and it never has really left me. Um, especially the show of films, I'm really heavy in the show, and that is my favorite era of Godzilla. Um, and really, I didn't see the Heisei movies until probably early 2000s, so something like that I, I didn't see them right away when they first came out so um but the hey saying the millennium i love all the eras i love every rendition of godzilla so far um he's a perpetual design and his trademark dorsal plates and his fire breathing um, atomic breath and all that he's just a great great design a great character a great influence i mean just amazing 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 and it's a very influential here and in, in the states i i'm he's pretty prevalent here in the states and uh everybody in the x plus group knows and loves godzilla and i can only imagine how it is in japan because he's uh really that's his home so it's probably it's way more prevalent there uh i've heard people talk of many many toy shops that are just loaded with godzilla merchandise and makes sense because that is his home so but it's very prevalent in my life always has been since i was a little as long as i can remember and uh up till now and uh that will always be here after i'm gone i'm sure and that's a great thing and uh i will go on to my next topic here and let's move on to that uh right now all right everybody i'm back the most important movies in the godzilla franchise to me are of course the 54 1954 what started it all you don't have none of it without this none of it is here without the original and just a message in the original movie of human beings uh adversely affecting the climate and the earth with nuclear uh power and nuclear weapons and the uh, repercussions of that of messing with mother nature and is Godzilla and it's just a very 
the Japanese uh, version is very somber and very sad and very frightening, really, if you think about it. But it's a very brilliantly done movie. It's a very haunting in ways and very dark. And but it's meant to be that way, and it has a good point in that respect. Another movie that's important to me in the franchise is the very next movie, 1955, Godzilla Raids Again. That's because this was the first time, in my opinion, Godzilla battles another kaiju, which was the Angerus. And uh, from that moment on, from that movie on, all the way till 1984, Godzilla fought another kaiju in every single movie in the line. It's amazing. But that was a very, very, very important time and step in the Godzilla franchise when they introduced the other kaiju and they found out that this was a very good way to go with Godzilla battling other monsters. And it was very brilliant. Um, I think Angerus was a perfect match for Godzilla as far as fighting. Um, He was a crawler, but he did stand on his hind legs several times. And he actually gave Godzilla a good bout in the movie till Godzilla succumbed him, overpowered him. So, But it's a very significant moment in the Godzilla franchise with the introduction of Kaiju versus Kaiju. I would say another integral moment is 1964's Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster because that introduces what is to many is known as Godzilla's arch enemy King Ghidorah. That movie is very inspiration instrumental in that respect. It introduces him into the franchise and he has shown up many, many times since. He's a very menacing beast, very ominous creature, and he usually gives Godzilla a fair run for his money, especially this year in the 2019 Godzilla King of the Monsters movie in my eyes. That was the worst beating Ghidorah's ever put on any on Godzilla in any meeting they've had he almost took him down another film that I think is very integral is 1974's Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla that introduces to me Godzilla's arch enemy my personal opinion Godzilla's arch enemy is Mechagodzilla and that was a very brutal movie it was a great film it was very bloody for Godzilla in particular, and if you think about it, Mechagodzilla was really a very, very into- intimidating opponent. He took on two kaiju, Godzilla and King Caesar, and he almost defeated them. It's two versus one. It was a handicap match, and he still almost pulled it off. It was pretty impressive. But he put the beating he put on Godzilla was horrendous. The bloody mess he made of him and everything. It was just really, really, when you're a little kid, you're watching that, you're thinking, Godzilla's going to lose. Godzilla is going to lose, but then he pulled out the magnetism trick and uh, turned himself into a magnet and uh, was able to go on to defeat Mechagodzilla. And another movie that I think is integral, very integral and important in the Godzilla franchise is Godzilla 1984, because this movie brings Godzilla back. He was in a nine-year hiatus at that point, and who knew if he, who knows if he was really ever going to come back? But he did. So Godzilla in 1984 to me is very integral just because of that. He brought Godzilla back to motion pictures. He started the Heisei era he, with 1984 and then they had a big run in the Heisei era. But everything started with that 84 because that had been nine years prior that we had seen Godzilla on the big screen. And I would say the last two films that are very integral to me and important in the franchise is Legendary's Godzilla 2014 along with Shin Godzilla 2016 and the reason being is Legendary Godzilla 2014 it was a 10 year stretch since Godzilla Final Wars which is which was in 2004 it had been 10 years since we had seen Godzilla on the big screen that is a long that is a decade that's a long time So that was, to me, very integral and important that Legendary brings Godzilla back in a big way like that. And it was a pretty good movie. I did enjoy that movie. Some people didn't, but I did. It was a slow burn to get to Godzilla, but the second half of the film does not disappoint. It's very, very uh, well done, I thought. And then Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla is... 
Toho's return to Godzilla after a 12-year hiatus. And Shin Godzilla is a very unique design, unique aspect on Godzilla. He has multiple forms, keeps sh shifting and evolving all the whole movie. And uh, Shin Godzilla ends with the ultimate cliffhanger. He's just frozen. He's not dead. He's just frozen. And I wish they would carry that story on. It would be really cool if they did. But those movies there, to me, are the most important movies in the franchise um, with the uh, aspects that I've given as to why. And I, they are the ones that I think of that are really important in the franchise. Let's go on to my next topic uh, right now. All right, everybody. My favorite Godzilla movies. I've already did a video on my channel of this, but it's no lie that my favorite movie is... 1974 Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla um, Mechagodzilla is my second favorite enemy um, the movie is just great I like the alien story in it and the storyline and it's kind of crazy in ways but it's really dynamic and Mechagodzilla is really a very intimidating and tough counter to Godzilla in that film He's very, very challenging, and when I first seen it, when I was little, I remember thinking, Godzilla was going to lose. When he had all the missiles stuck in him, and he's bleeding all over the place, and Mechagodzilla had hit him with them lasers in the neck, and he's blood gushing out, I was like, he's going to lose, you know. So that movie really is my favorite movie to watch in the, in the whole of the franchise. And then Godzilla vs. Gigan is a guilty pleasure favorite because Gigan is my favorite adversary of Godzilla's. Um, he's one, and Mechagodzilla's a very close two. Mechagodzilla and King Ghidorah tied at two on my list of adversaries. Um, Gigan's a one. They were close two. And then three on that list was Godzilla vs. Mothra, but I think I'm pushing it down. A spot and I'm inserting Monster Zero in there just because I like the Monster Zero movie and the storyline in it better than Ghidorah's first movie the, um, Ghidorah the Three Hit a Monster I just like the storyline and the ever evolving story and the uh, kaiju action in uh, Monster Zero is a bit better than in uh, Ghidorah the Three Hit a Monster in my opinion so those are my top three favorite now I've pushed um, uh, Mothra down to five and Hedorah fell out he's probably six now because I really appreciate Monster Zero especially lately when I watched it um, when I got the uh, X plus King Ghidorah earlier this year I really found the newfound uh, fondness for that film so I've put it back in that number three now so my top three are Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 1974 Godzilla vs. Gigan, 1972, and Monster Zero from 1965. Those are my three favorite uh, Godzilla movies as they stand uh, right now. Let's move on to the uh, closing comments on this video, and uh, we'll do that right now. Yes, everybody, I'm back. Long live the king indeed. Godzilla, happy 65th birthday to you. You will have 465 more at least. I mean, I'm sure you'll go on way past my time on this earth, and that's a good thing. And every rendition of Godzilla, there's love and hate in all of them. I know people love and hate Shin. People love and hate the Godzilla Earth. And from them all the way back to the beginning, uh, 1954, the classic uh, design of Godzilla that has held the test of time. He still holds signatures of this Godzilla, even on the 2019 Godzilla, the Godzilla Earth, Shin Godzilla. They all hold characteristics of this guy right here. And that is a true tribute to the longevity of the series, the longevity of the franchise. And indeed, happy birthday, Godzilla, and long live the king. I'm going to close this video with a special, uh, some pictures I did today. I literally took pictures of every figure in my, Godzilla figure in my collection. So that'll be the close of my video. I want to thank everyone that tunes in. 
to my channel and supports me. If you have any comments, leave them below. This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. And you all have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Godzilla.